Hey everybody, Roland Dell here. I am a uh, minister and a chap. Before that, I was a soldier. I served my country for over 20 years uh, in the armed forces for what I consider a righteous cause. You know, my father uh, always taught me that if you belong to this country, that uh, you know, you are responsible to give back to it, that it's not a free ride um, as far as uh, service. And uh, so this is one of the reasons that uh, I enlisted. I was too young for Vietnam, but uh, I enlisted after high school into the military. And uh, I have to kind of make a little tribute here to the Vietnam veteran because they were the people that really trained me up and uh, kind of taught me the ropes, so to speak, and uh, and being a soldier for the most part, and along with others. But um, it's uh, this is something that uh, is, is passed in my life um, for love of God and country was my um, was my call in my heart. Like, God raised me up to uh, to serve him in this great nation. Um, but uh, now I want to say, because of um, how things are uh, developing in the world, in this nation, in Britain, for instance, um, sick, filth, um, deviations from God's truth, from uh, marriage, um, from right and wrong, evil is called good and good is called evil. And my family crest of course had to overcome evil with good, um, which is, uh, I came over here in the 1600, the late 1600s. So uh, we were a Christian people, so to speak, or at least uh, as far as Western civilization was concerned. But now, I, I'm sorry to say that um, the world is rebuilding Babylon. They're all trying to, which is Satan's work, with, to, to throw out any of the values of a Christian informed nation and replace them with a pluralistic postmodernism uh, view of the world where uh, God is no longer on his throne and they call us religious people. We understand that religious people have certain strong moral convictions about things that we are doing that other people may not hold. So we won't attack that because of your religious beliefs. Well, at one time, this nation all held um, pretty close to the same values, but this, this isn't the, the case anymore. Because like I said, Babylon, uh, the new world order, the Tower of Babel, which has happened before in the Bible, where men want to place themselves over God or as equivalent to God. They want all things to be equal, so to, so to speak, and um, I'm just not for that. Now, I have to say there's a lot of people in Britain and the United States that feel very strongly about what's going on here and around the world as everybody tries to come together under one banner well, you know, God's order is separation. He's separated. He, nationalism is, um, quite frankly, a godly thing. But I just want to make this video to say that um, this government doesn't have to worry about, um, about myself. Uh, <sighs> Uh, coming against them for standing up for for this country any longer. I um, I like I said I, well I served nearly 23 years officially on the books, but uh, it was really, really more like 30 years uh, with the things that I've done and uh, uh, supporting this country. And uh, I was in the Coast Guard, Coast Guard Auxiliary the Boy Scouts, all these things that uh, create patriotism. And, uh, you know, 
I'm done with that. So they don't have to worry about me being a threat to their uh, world government or the people in power. Um, and uh, I will keep my uh, my walk with my Lord private as much as possible. But my biggest problem is I can't mix error with truth. I can't say that something is righteous when I know it is not. But um, I am more concerned with the kingdom of heaven, following my Lord as he leads me in spirit. The, the Bible teaches that God's children will be taught of him. And this is what I, uh, this is what I, I want to do. I want to be taught of my Lord, what his truth is uh, for his kingdom come, which I don't think it'd be much longer. And uh, I think that God will move in power uh, against wickedness in the world. And the world will all know the truth. But before that time happens, there's going to be the man of sin appear on the scene. And uh, this man of sin will hate people such as myself that follow the Lord Jesus Christ in their heart. Not just lip service, not just doing religiosity about him, but actually know him. And I'm very sad for my country and uh, for a, a dear friend of mine in Britain, for his country and what I see happening. Um, but I don't worship my nation. I worship my Lord. And his kingdom is not of this world. So um, I have to move in faith as he leads me each and every day. I wish it weren't so. I wish this country wasn't becoming ungodly. I wish Britain wasn't becoming ungodly. I wish that all this ecumenicalism mixing uh, the Lord God of Israel's name, the Lord Jesus Christ, with other entities wasn't happening because it's, uh, it's forbidden in the scriptures. Yea, following the Lord Jesus Christ is a is just that following the Lord Jesus Christ, and you can't compromise with doing that in your spirit. But I just wanted to make this a political statement today that um, that um, the government doesn't have to be threatened by my view uh, because um, God allows men to be put in authority on earth for whatever season that we are in. And I'll respect that authority as much as I'm able. And... Uh, I just wanted to make this clear because a lot of people today and a lot of groups that I'm associated with are patriot type of groups. And I want to say that although I had a love for my country, but really it was a love for God and this country is what I, what I worship first. Um, and I will continue to uh, love the truth of God and uh, I will not make an idol out of my nation. And I feel that I have to make a choice between God and my nation. And I'm done in, in serving my nation. I have served my nation. I would like to enjoy uh, the benefits of that, of the my fruits of my labor and serving my nation. But I don't know that that's even possible. But I do know that I can serve my Lord because uh, what we lay up in heaven um, is eternal and what we get laid up build down here on earth will all be destroyed anyway so I just want to encourage the people of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to um, in their hearts push forward in him and try not to be distracted about all the wickedness that's going on around us you know I feel like I'm vexed by the sins of the wicked like Lot was um, in Sodom and Gomorrah and I wait for my Lord's return and I really wish that God would bless America again as they honor him but I don't see it happening so um, goodbye America I grieve for my country I grieve for Britain I grieve, I, I grieve for um, the western values that have made um, uh, nations great that are now gone because we're moving into building up Babel, Babylon, um, a 
against God for a new world order. Good luck. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. And it will all be destroyed. But uh, this is for true Christians, born again Christians, and know the Lord Jesus Christ. Our kingdom is not of this world. It is um, to follow Christ and his righteousness and in his peace within us. Good day.